welcome to my channel. This is Makeup by Mackenzie, and I am Mackenzie, obviously. So today you might know something a little bit different about me. I'm wearing glasses, and I actually wear contacts all the time. Um, but I've started wearing glasses when I was about six years old, and I've worn contacts or glasses ever since. I started wearing contacts in middle school, which was before I did makeup at all. I didn't wear any makeup in, in middle school. I didn't start wearing makeup until high school. And when you when you wear contacts, you should always put your contacts in before you put your makeup on because that decreases the the chance for makeup and bacteria to get into your eyes. So I've never done my makeup without my contacts in. So today I'm going to be challenging myself to do my makeup without my glasses or my contacts in for the very first time. And I also thought this would be kind of a cool opportunity for me to test out all the tips and the tricks that you can find on the internet about how to do your makeup with glasses. Um, so without any further ado, let's play with some makeup, shall we? I just want to give you guys an idea of how bad my vision is because I have, I have pretty bad vision. Um, so I'm taking off my glasses and I'm not wearing contacts. Um, but I'm gonna show you, so like, um, I have my arm fully extended, and I've got two fingers out, and I'm gonna start moving it towards my face, and I'll stop when my fingers are completely clear. So it's blurry, 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 getting better, getting better, there. So right there is where my fingers are now completely clear. So, um, that's pretty good representation of how bad my vision is without contacts or glasses. Um, so doing my makeup is going to be kind of interesting. I don't know, everything's so blurry. And what's actually kind of a good thing is that I can't see myself in the, in the viewfinder. And normally I have a huge problem with uh, looking at myself in the viewfinder. Um, but if I can't see myself, What's the point of looking in the viewfinder, right? So basically what I did with these tips is I read a bunch of articles, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos um, on how to do makeup with glasses, and, and I wrote down all of the tips that seemed to pop up again and again in, in, a, in a lot of these articles or YouTube videos um, so that I could test them out. Because some of them seem to be a little bit subjective, um, or you only saw it in one article but didn't see it in any other articles. So I only wanted to keep the tips that seemed to kind of pop up again and again. So the first tip is don't skip concealer and opt for yellow concealer. And that was because um, when you wear glasses, um, it tends to cast shadows down onto your eyes and especially on like your under eyes. So wearing concealer or even a brightening concealer like a yellow concealer can really help to uh, kind of try and help uh, combat those shadows so that your under eyes don't look dark. Um, so I think that's a really good tip. Um, okay, so let's try this out. So for my under eyes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Cir Circle Eraser. Oh, you know what? I can't see when it's in focus. I'm assuming it's in focus now. This is in the shade Neutralizer, which is a yellow undertoned shade. Um, and it's specifically designed to neutralize um, like dark under eye circles. So this is what I'm gonna use under my eyes today. This is so hard. I'm so sorry for people who have glasses. I mean, I guess you do this in your bathroom and you just, you're not too concerned about the people on camera seeing what you're doing. Um, I'm trying to, trying to be able to see what I'm doing while also letting you guys see what I'm doing. So, I'm real close to this. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm, I'll turn, turn to the side a little bit. Alright, I'm going in kind of a, a triangle shape here. Now you could also use like a banana powder under your eye, and that would help to brighten it up as well. Okay, cool. We've got the concealer on. Now let's blend. Oh goodness. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm I, I'm really apologize if at any point in time I'm doing something that doesn't allow you to see what I'm doing. Cause I really can't see very well. Like I have to hold the mirror up this close to my face even to be able to see what I'm doing. And I can't see the viewfinder, so I can't tell if if I'm covering my face up or or whatever. 
All right, how is it looking there? Okay, that actually, that looks pretty good. Okay, for the rest of my face, I'm just gonna use my normal Maybelline um, uh, Fit Me concealer. The next tip was do not skip setting powder. And they said especially don't skip setting powder on your nose um, because your glasses can rub off your makeup. So if you really nicely set your makeup, it, you will decrease the chances of your makeup rub rubbing off throughout the day. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with the Cody Airspun powder. Okay, so now let's set the rest of my face. And I'm using the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance um, uh, setting powder. <laughs> I'm gonna take the powder puff that comes in it, and I'm gonna use that to press into my nose so that that part is very well set. And I will brush away the excess later. But I just wanna make sure that the makeup on my nose is set. And then I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and do the rest of my face. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes. Yay! Okay, so let's see what the tip for the eyes is. Opt for more neutral tones on the lid. I think that one was because um, you don't want your eyes and your glasses to clash, especially if you have glasses that aren't really uh, neutral toned. Some of them were like, you should, you sh your, the color of your glasses will dictate the colors that you use on your eyes. And, and I don't know if that's necessarily true. Um, I imagine, I mean, I, I guess if you have like really bright colored glasses, then you don't want to wear a color that would clash. But I also don't think that you should limit yourself based on the color of your glasses or what colors you should or can wear just simply because you have glasses. So I'm not sure about that one, but I'm going to stick with that tip. I'm going to I'm going to wear more neutral tones on the lid. And then this one says don't skip eyeliner. Okay? I won't. If you're nearsighted, choose makeup that will make your eyes look bigger. If you're farsighted, you can go with more smoky things that will make your eyes look smaller. And the reason why is that your lenses change the size of your eyes based on whether you're nearsighted or farsighted. So I'm nearsighted, so my eyes, so my lenses tend to make my eyes look smaller. When you're farsighted, your, eye, your, your glasses tend to magnify your eyes. Because I am nearsighted, my glasses will make my eyes look smaller. So I'm gonna do some things to try and make my eyes look bigger, and I'm going to avoid smoky, a smoky look. So it's gonna be pretty light on my eyes today. Now, just because you're nearsighted, does that mean you can't ever do smoky eyes or use dark colors? No, absolutely not. Um, you should feel free to do whatever you want. Honestly, yeah, just do whatever you want. But do be conscious that um, your glasses are going to make your eyes look smaller. Um, so that might, be, might play a factor into how much dark makeup you put on. I'm gonna do some light neutral tones on the eyes today, and I'm going to do eyeliner. The articles kind of said it could just be like a, um, a thin, you know, line across your lash line. It doesn't have to be a wing or anything. Um, it's really just to define your lash line and make that stand out. Um, but I'm going to try a wing, um, because why not? Um, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette for this look. Okay, so I'm first going to take the shade Nudie which is that one right there. It's a like a skin tone shade. And that's just gonna go from my bl brow bone to my crease to help with blending. And again, I'm really sorry if you can't see very well what I'm doing. I'm trying my, my best not to cover my face to the camera, but I really also need to see what I'm doing. I'm relying on muscle memory a lot for this. You know, if I was in my bathroom, I would just get, like get uh, as close to my mirror as I can for this. And actually, some of the articles recommended getting travel-size brushes instead of full-size brushes um, because 
they have shorter handles and you can get closer to the mirror that way. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Commando and that's gonna go in the crease. And I'm gonna kind of do almost like a sort of cat eye shape here where I'm bringing it up on the outer corner and that's gonna kind of give my eyes some lift. Making my eyes look bigger. <laughs> okay, that's starting to look pretty good. I think. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and blend out those edges as best as I can. <laughs> I actually think I'm going to leave the crease there. I'm not gonna add any more color because I actually really like the way that that's looking. But I am gonna take a little bit of Commando here and I'm just gonna start to bring that onto the outer third of the lid. Just real lightly, nothing too harsh. Whew, my arms are starting to get tired. Ugh. I f can feel myself like going like this. <laughs> Trying, trying really hard not to do that. So now I'm just gonna take the shade Blow, which is the lightest shade, and it's got like a satiny shimmery to it. And I'm, that's gonna go on the inner two thirds of the lid. And I'm just using my finger. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of bring back Commando a little bit and blend the two together on the outer third here. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I'm just gonna do a little bit of commando on the lower lash line here. Just taking a small fluffy brush and just going along the outer half of the lower lash line and bringing it up into the crease here. And then I'm taking the my translucent powder brush I'm just blending that out a little bit. And now I'm going to attempt some eyeliner. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Woo! Alrighty, so this is gonna be interesting and I may just have to do this off camera. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Oh, I don't like the way this is looking. <laughs> All right, let me try the other eye. I'll just take a break from this one real quick. See, the thing about doing your, your eyeliner when you're like this close is that you see every single mistake. I can't tell which one is prettier. Okay, let me put my glasses on. My glasses. I can't find my glasses. Okay. Change of plans. I actually don't at all like the way the wings are looking with my glasses. Cause now I can't feel like, I feel like I can't see my eyes. Could just be that I'm not used to wearing, no, it's the wings. I don't like the way the wings look with my, with my glasses. And, and part of it is that they've, it's made my eyes look small. And so I, I almost want to be able to see my lids more. And I can't see my lids very well. Um, cause the shadows hit right at my crease almost. And so I almost want to see less black. Okay. So I'm going to redo my eyes. <laughs> Yay. And I also don't like the yellow concealer. So I might redo that too. All right. I'll be right back guys. <laughs> Whew, okay. <laughs> This is starting to be way more frustrating than I was hoping it would be. <laughs> so um, I basically took off all of my makeup and put it all back on, um, except for the wing. Um, the only thing I changed is that instead of using the shade Blow from the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette, I used this from the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Um, and I just thought that the, um, that blow was too cold for the look that I'm, I'm going for. Um, so I wanted to do something a little bit more neutral. Um, so that's what I'm using on my eyes at the moment. What I'm going to do instead for the eyeliner is I'm just going to go real simple with it. I'm not going to try and do the wing. And the reason why the wing was kind of 
why I didn't really like that is that um, I have hooded eyes and then combined with the fact that my glasses tend to cast a shadow right on my eyes just made everything look dark and condensed and and heavy and so I want to go with something a little bit lighter um, just so that it, it doesn't look so heavy um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go with the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Eyeliner in the shade Brown and I'm going to line my upper waterline and then I'm going to very lightly line my upper lash line Okay, so um, I'm liking the way that that is looking a lot better. Um, it doesn't look as heavy. It, it looks brighter. You can see my, uh, my eye color a little bit better. Yeah, you can just, you, it, it, I just think it looks a little less heavy. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is the, a good trick for making your eyes look bigger is to apply a light colored eyeliner in your waterline, like a white or a, a nude color. Um, so I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Nude. There we go. And that's just going in my lower waterline. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some of this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter into the inner corners. So the next thing I'm going to do is my brows. And they always talk, a lot of the sites said do not skip your brows because um, your brows frame your face. And even though, like for example, my, my glasses kind of cover up my brows, both your glasses and your brows serve to frame your face and and skipping your brows I think is kind of missed opportunity to help your glasses frame your face. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. For this I'm just going to use the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Kit, Brow Powder Kit. Next thing I'm going to do to my brows is apply a um, eyebrow gel and this is the Essence Make Me Brow eyebrow gel and this is in the shade Brownie Brows. Look how good that looks. My face is starting to look complete. Alright, I definitely need some blush though because my face is looking a bit pale. So I'm just gonna use the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amour. Oh, it's so much easier when I don't have to be like this. <laughs> there we go. Blush is done. And I have to say that really helps. Yeah, my face was starting to look very disproportionate. And I think that's part of the reason why they say go simple with your eye makeup. When you have, like for me, when you have these big dark glasses, uh, it, it all the focus goes towards your eyes. And so I think it, it really helps to make your eye, um, your eye makeup a little bit more simple so that you know it's not so heavy on your on your eyes. The last tip that I thought was really interesting and and kept coming up was feel free to go bold with the lips especially if you have dark frames and I think that that's kind of what I was just talking about like if your your eyes are so heavy with these dark frames that that making your lips bold is just another way to kind of balance out your face while also having a lot of fun. If you feel like you can't do really fun, uh, bright colors on your on your eyes, then do it on your lips. So I'm, I'm excited about that one. So I'm gonna try doing the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Voyager. All right, um, so this is the finished look and I really like it. It's really cute. Um, I actually look cute with glasses on, which I didn't think that I didn't. I just never worn glasses with makeup. So I actually look really cute. Yeah, I actually, I look really cute. Um, I might actually wear my glasses more often. Although I have to say that um, doing my makeup with my glasses off was really, really hard. Um, 
and my eyes really are tired and dry feeling because it, I've just been straining to uh, to try and see. Um, so that's really hard. And and so kudos to people who have eyesight that's like as bad as mine, and and do their makeup every single day like that because that's so incredibly hard. And um, yeah, it's way harder than I thought it would be. Um, and it's kind of opened my eyes to how privileged I am to be able to wear contacts. It's just kind of amazing to me how difficult that is. And you know, there's got to be some tips and tricks that people have for for being able to do it easier. And um, so if you do your makeup every day, whether you're nearsighted or farsighted, um, whether your eyesight is really bad or it's just, you know, kind of bad, uh, Share in the comment section down below any tips and tricks that you have about wearing makeup with glasses, um, whether it's how to apply it easier or just some things that you like to do um, that you think look really pretty with your glasses. Um, let me know and, and let everybody else who's watching this video know. Like, I think we should all just share all of the tips and tricks we have because clearly this is way harder than it should be. <laughs> And I would love to see you guys rocking your glasses with your makeup and looking fly. So share your pictures with me on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag Mackenzie Obviously. I would love to see your pictures. Please let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see any more videos like this or if you have any other tutorials or Makeup 101 videos that you would like me to do because I want to do what you want to see. So let me know. As always, I will have all of the products that I used in today's video listed in the description box below for you to find. I will also have a link to my GoFundMe campaign. 100% of those proceeds goes towards making this channel the best it possibly can be for you guys. So if you like my channel and want to help me make it better, please consider donating to that. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at MEBYMackenzie. And if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it in the future. All right, that's all I have for today. Remember, makeup has no rules. They're more like guidelines. So, you do you, boo boo. All right, see you next time, everybody. There's a phone ringing. Is it done? Oh, it's done. Okay. Hmm. I'm having trouble figuring out my mirror situation because I want to be able to see what I'm doing, but I also want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Ah, what do I do? Ah, I did too much better. Doing all the clicky noises today. I'm in a weird mood today. Ah, I'm gonna get it all over my face. Ah, let's go in, shall we? I look like a sexy secretary. <laughs>